Uh, hello, uh, can you hear me? Uh, okay, sound looks like okay. Uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Wataru and working as an evangelist for Japan market. And uh, in this presentation, uh, I'd like to uh, show you how to leverage uh, VMware uh, for uh, OpenStack Cloud infrastructure. And uh, I think uh, many of you know uh, vSphere, VMware vSphere, our hypervisor, is widely used by uh, enterprise customers. Uh, so uh, IT, enterprise IT, have already have a uh, vSphere cloud infrastructure uh, in the IT system. So why not? Why not using uh, vSphere infrastructure for OpenStack Cloud? So I think uh, for many cases, it makes sense to use vSphere, existing vSphere infrastructure for OpenStack uh, Cloud. And uh, I'd like to show you why and uh, how in this presentation. And uh, this is the agenda of my, of my presentation. And first, I'd like to show uh, general values of uh, OpenStack on VMware. So, and, and then I, I will explain uh, our solution, uh, which is uh, our OpenStack distribution, VMware integrated OpenStack. And, and, and lastly, I will show you unified management of OpenStack and virtualization infrastructure. So we have a cloud management platform called vRealize. And with vRealize, you can manage OpenStack and virtualization infrastructure uh, entirely from a, a single pane of glass. And OK, let me start from the uh, why uh, you uh, use uh, OpenStack and OpenStack on VMware. That's the first topic. And uh, why OpenStack on VMware? Uh, the reason is to combine the best of the both worlds. OpenStack has a good uh, flexibility. OpenStack, provide, OpenStack is a framework of cloud-style APIs and very good uh, flexibility for application developers. And also, OpenStack has a plugin system. And with plugin system, you can, you can pick any uh, virtualization system or storage or networking virtualization. Uh, you can uh, have many choices. So uh, OpenStack is a greater flexibility. That's the OpenStack's value. Uh, on the other hand, so vSphere, uh, VMware has uh, solid virtualization technologies. Like uh, I think uh, many of you know VMware vSphere have a virtualization technology, but other than that, we have network virtualization technology like NSX and the storage virtualization and the monitoring software, and uh, it already used in enterprise systems. Enterprise ID are used to using uh, vSphere or other VM technologies. So we, have, we are validated. Uh, so our technologies are already validated by enterprise. So, and, uh, so uh, by OpenStack on VMware, you can provide flexibility to application developers. At the same time, you can deliver reliability to uh, IT operation teams. That's the uh, value of the OpenStack on VMware. And uh, let's see uh, uh, what that mean, OpenStack, uh, OpenStack on VMware mean by technology, technology viewpoint. So OpenStack is an uh, abstraction layer, and uh, it needs uh, virtualization technologies underneath. For example, server virtualization, network virtualization, storage virtualization, and some technologies are necessary for uh, OpenStack. And the customer needs to choose uh, OpenStack uh, virtualization for OpenStack system. And uh, our suggestion and uh, proposal is uh, uh, existing virtualization system you have uh, for, uh, is used, can be used for OpenStack uh, foundation. Like vSphere, that's a server virtualization technology. And the NSX is a network virtualization, which is widely used. Uh, currently, we have uh, 700 customers worldwide, more than 700 customers for NSX. And the storage side, and we have uh, a software-defined storage, and you can use uh, any data store on vSphere. And uh, this is an uh, open, uh, op open stack on VMS system, and we have uh, two types of uh, users for the open stack crowd. The first one is application developers. Application developers need uh, cloud-style APIs, and uh, they are looking for a uh, very easy cloud system, a feature you can uh, uh, easily consume. And uh, we can provide uh, such a cloud style API through the OpenStack API. And, uh, and on the flip side, 
So the, the second type of user is a cloud infrastructure team or a cloud operations team. And uh, they, are, uh, they, lo they are looking for tools or systems which they are familiar uh, with. And they are currently using VM vSphere, most of customers are using. And uh, uh, with uh, OpenStack on VMware, they can leverage uh, the existing vSphere system for OpenStack. <coughs> and also, uh, we are providing a management system, a unified management system, like a pre-realized uh, logo inside or operations. With that, you can have a single pane of glass system for the OpenStack on VMware. And, uh, with, uh, I have uh, two slides uh, for, to show the details of the values on OpenStack on VMware. And uh, let's see the one by one. And uh, the first one is vSphere. Uh, vSphere is a server virtualization platform, and uh, it's widely used uh, globally. And uh, it has uh, many uh, rich features for reliability and automation. Uh, for example, high availability or uh, fault tolerance or automation and QoS, like uh, uh, storage and network IO control, and also vMotion. Uh, with the latest version of vSphere, you can uh, uh, do the live migration between uh, vCenters or uh, data centers. It's uh, extended. So very, uh, very reliable and a trusted platform uh, you can leverage for OpenStack. That's a vSphere. And uh, NSX, NSX can deliver uh, virtualized, techno virtualized networking uh, through L2 and L7, like uh, uh, L2, L2 network, like a VX1, and uh, root routing, and the firewall, load balancer. You can deliver a uh, virtualized network on demand. And we have uh, 700 customers, and 100 custom more than 100 customers are using NSX uh, for production system already. That's a widely, I think uh, that's an uh, uh, industry-leading uh, network virtualization platform. And for storage, you can use any vSphere data stores for OpenStack, like uh, uh, NFS, or Fiber Channel, or SKG. Uh, you can use any data stores. And uh, we have a software-defined storage platform called VirtualSun, and you can use VirtualSun, uh, of course. And uh, that's, so you can utilize a uh, so big uh, ecosystem, vSphere ecosystem for OpenStack. And uh, the next slide shows the business uh, advantage uh, for the business advantage of OpenStack on VMware. So many enterprise customers have already virtualized infrastructure with vSphere, and you can leverage the infrastructure for OpenStack. So this is a cost efficient because you don't have to create another infrastructure, and also uh, advantage in speed. You don't have to wait for the uh, new uh, infrastructure coming. So just putting, uh, I will show you the demonstration, just putting OpenStack on existing VMware. That's very quick. So uh, cost and uh, speed. And uh, your skills. Many customers and partners have already a vSphere uh, certification, and uh, they know our technologies. You can leverage your skill for OpenStack uh, system development. And you can more focus on OpenStack itself rather than uh, using your time for other virtualization technologies. And the last one is uh, tools. Uh, I will show you the demonstration. And uh, we integrated OpenStack functions into vSphere web client, which is a user interface of vSphere. So you can manage uh, OpenStack and VMware from a single pane of glass. That's, uh, I think, very easy uh, for vSphere customers. So we are trying to provide a uh, so simple option for existing VM customers about OpenStack. And uh, from the second topic, uh, at the second topic, I will show you uh, what solution we are providing. Uh, that's a, a VM integrated OpenStack. And uh, before talking about a VM, VM integrated OpenStack, uh, there are two approaches to OpenStack solution based on the VMware. Uh, the right side is a loosely integrated framework uh, or a flexible approach. It has been general approach for VMware, uh, OpenStack on VMware, uh, so far, so far. And uh, you, can, you, can pick, you can pick anything uh, so for OpenStack on VMware, like a server, uh, not only virtualization, not only vSphere, you can put a multi-hypervisor for the OpenStack, 
and uh, you can pick uh, any uh, network virtualization and the storage and the uh, open stack distribution. You can, you, can, you can integrate any components. That's an uh, advantage of OpenStack, very flexible. But on the flip side, the flexibility uh, gives your complexity, complexity, like uh, installation, deployment, and uh, troubleshooting, upgrade. I have been hearing so many issues uh, for the operation, operation or upgrade uh, from uh, open source customers. Uh, that is a reason. Uh, reason. That is a reason. So you uh, you, if you if you create a ten open source systems with a flexible approach, probably ten different systems will be built, and it makes uh, troubleshooting very difficult. And on the other uh, on the other hand, the tightly integrated products uh, like a left hand approach. That's what we'd like to introduce today. This is a uh, very different approach, maybe, and and the hypervisor and the network virtualization, storage virtualization, and the management software, they are already, already integrated in advance. And we will provide a package, open stack package to you. So not so bad, great flexibility, but this is very simple to install, deploy, and manage, and operate. And I will show you as a demonstration. It is very easy. Uh, probably you will be surprised uh, at the simplicity. So very simple option, which is uh, we are trying to deliver to you for OpenStack. And uh, real, uh, I'd like to show real examples. The right hand, uh, loosely integrated framework, flexible approach. It's based on uh, so any, how can I say, uh, very much uh, choices, very many choices, like uh, NSX, and uh, not only NSX or Vsphere. You can pick any SDN uh, options, and uh, you can pick any. Uh, distributions, and, and this is good. I think this has been good for early adapters. For customers' requirements, you can pick any components and uh, which, which can meet customers' requirements. But uh, I think this is uh, probably too complex for many enterprise customers and, uh, and also and, uh, mainstream customers. Someone needs to integrate the components, and someone needs to test, someone needs to validate Someone needs to uh, understand the components and upgrade it. This is uh, sometimes very difficult. It can be very difficult. And uh, what, we, what I'd like to propose today is a left-hand side option. Uh, this is an uh, integrated approach, tightly integrated approach, packaged approach, or maybe, how can I say, uh, cookie cut approach. This is, and so if you create a 10 systems with VM integrated OpenStack, configuration will be the completely same across the 10 systems. And, uh, and, but uh, the important point is uh, uh, we will deliver the same OpenStack APIs across the options. Uh, either, uh, if you pick either option, you will have uh, same similar, not, not similar, same API, Cloud API, OpenStack API. So uh, you can have a compatibility uh, with either option. And uh, let me explain uh, what the VMA integrated OpenStack is with this slide. And uh, our target customer is uh, v existing vSphere customers. So they already have uh, virtualized infrastructure, and you can leverage for OpenStack Cloud. And on the existing vSphere infrastructure, uh, we will deliver, we are delivering uh, VMA integrated OpenStack. Uh, they are packaged as a virtual appliance. That means, so uh, like Nova, Cinder, uh, uh, Grant, so many components are there in OpenStack, but they are packaged as a virtual appliance. And the single file, we packaged as a single file, uh, uh, OpenStack components into single file, so you can download it and install and deploy very easily. You can deploy OpenStack. Uh, I will show you uh, as a demonstration. And it includes uh, almost full uh, components of OpenStack. And also, operation side or data operations, we integrated VDLIs operations or log analysis or business management in, uh, uh, softwares into OpenStack. So you can uh, easily so, uh, entire system, uh, manage the entire system from 
single pane of glass. And let me summarize the points of a VMware integrated OpenStack. So we packaged OpenStack components as a virtual appliance, so you can easily deploy it and also upgrade it. Upgrade is very easy. So probably that's a great differentiator to us. And uh, also, it's validated, fully validated by VMware, and we support the entire system, not only with VMware technologies, but also OpenStack. We support a uh, full uh, configuration. And the best point of VIO is uh, existing VCR customers can use VIO freely. So if you have Enterprise Plus Edition of vSphere, you can download VIO today, and you can start using VIO today. That's free of charge. Support, OpenStack support is separately uh, sold, but the uh, binary itself, you can download it and test it to, from today. So existing customers can utilize the VIO. And I'd like to show some uh, screenshot of the VIO. And uh, this is uh, probably uh, some of you have already seen. This is vSphere Web Client uh, Management Interface. And in the, this is a, a management interface for vSphere. And uh, open VIO is integrated in the management interface. And from this, you can manage OpenStack as well as vSphere. And there are two types of users for cloud. The one is a cloud operator or cloud infrastructure team. And the other one is application developer or DevOps team. And for application developers, you can provide cloud-style API. An API or CLI or Horizon interface. This interface is completely the same as other OpenStack solutions. We don't touch any uh, components of OpenStack. Our OpenStack source is completely the same as community editions. So uh, compatibility is kept and the same user experience application developers can get. But the four cloud operators, the cloud infrastructure, they are looking for uh, tools, tools, uh, with, uh, tools with which uh, they are familiar. They, they don't want to run uh, any new tools uh, for OpenStack management. Yeah, maybe some tool needs to be learned, but uh, if you can leverage the existing tools for OpenStack management, it will be probably, uh, it will be better, much better than other options, we think. So you can provide uh, integrated management with familiar tools, or at the same time, you can deliver a cross-site API for application developers. And what components are is included, are included in uh, VIO? That's a uh, so gray, gray box. Gray box is a, a VIO's component, like a Novel, Neutron, a Cinder, Grants, or Keystone. Uh, all of, uh, almost all of the components are included in VIO, and it's packaged as a virtual appliance. It's very easy. And uh, as I said, we don't touch any uh, open source uh, code. So this, these are the same as uh, open source edition. So compatibility is kept. If you want to move to other uh, open source editions in the near future, you can move it freely. And the uh, VIO gray box are already integrated with uh, vSphere technologies like uh, vCenter, NSX, or, uh, or VRI's operations. They are already integrated. And uh, this is a configuration of VIO. So uh, VIO is a production ready. We call it production ready uh, because uh, like uh, Nova or Sender or they are so OpenStack services, which is uh, installed as an uh, OpenStack controller and also RabbitMQ or uh, MediaDB uh, and or load balancer. They are uh, high availability, configured high availability. So it's a production ready, so you can utilize, uh, you can use it in the production system. And let me quickly uh, uh, show you the history of uh, our contribution to OpenStack. Uh, so we started the OpenStack contribution uh, uh, by uh, NICILA, uh, which is now part of VMware. 
And uh, NICIA has started a neutron project uh, in the OpenStack, and, uh, and uh, we, we have been uh, steadily increasing the contribution to OpenStack. And uh, last year, we started a beta of VIO. And uh, this year, we two times released a VIO GA version. And uh, in March, uh, the, f the first version, uh, it has already included the uh, core concepts, which I explained. And uh, in the second version, in released in September, it includes a, a man upgrade, upgrade function and also its kilo base. That's the latest version of OpenStack. And uh, I'd like to show you the demonstration of uh, VIO. And uh, uh, let me explain the demo scenario uh, before. And uh, this is uh, uh, the left handed management cluster, and there are two computer clusters. And uh, you will, I will show you that. Uh, you will put uh, OVF template, which is a, a packaged uh, op OpenStack management, open management VM, uh, packaged as a VApp. And uh, after deploying uh, VMs, uh, the, by using the VM, you can deploy OpenStack very easily. And then you can put uh, instances. OK, so let me move on to the demo. OK. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> So this is a Visual Web Client uh, infrastructure, and uh, I haven't installed a VIO management feature yet. And uh, I, I will show you how simply we can uh, install OpenStack and deploy, install Open VIO and deploy OpenStack. Okay, and uh, let's go to hosts and clusters and actions. Deploy OVF template. That is, uh, so VIO is packaged as a virtual appliance. And uh, let me uh, paste here URL. And, uh, oh, wow. <laughs> this is uh, not good. OK. <laughs> Excuse me. So uh, maybe, OK. Let me, wow. Sorry, you can, I can maybe uh, from uh, how can I say you can see the below, but uh, let me and uh, this is uh, uh, just just uh, <laughs> Oh, this is uh, the いいです。じゃあ、僕やりますか。そう。オッケー。アンド。あ、大丈夫です。リターン。オッケー、それはだ。あ、そう。ジャストアンドユーラ。オッケー。それはだ。ユーラアクセプション。and you put uh, uh, where to store the OBF template and select the storage. That's uh, simple. Mm. So where to, where to store OBF template. And, uh, okay. and the network. So I use that by, def by default configuration. And uh, I put uh, network configuration uh, in advance. So like a DHCP or a server host name, IP address, they are already in input as a VIO management interface. And uh, okay. this is a recent uh, configuration. And uh, OK, complete. So that's it. Sorry about that. <laughs> so we have installed VIO as a virtual appliance. So that's pretty easy. And uh, plug this is uh, shown as a plugin of vCenter. vCenter. And uh, OK, so to show the vCenter plugin, so once uh, I need to log out, 
and uh, I need to re-log in to show the please view. Sorry about that. OpenStack icon. Just one, please. And uh, here, now you can see the VM integrated OpenStack icon. And uh, by clicking this, you can start an uh, OpenStack deployment. So here, OpenStack, deploy OpenStack, and the click here. And by wizard, you can deploy OpenStack. Many people say uh, OpenStack deployment is very complicated or complex, but uh, we, uh, with VIO, you can deploy OpenStack with wizard. And it's already packaged, so very simple. Like a deployment uh, type, and uh, I set a configuration file with JSON. And uh, this, is, uh, this configuration file includes Nova or Grants information. And uh, this is a uh, deployment uh, vCenter server's information. Uh, I already put information in the configuration file. And this is uh, uh, where to uh, VI management OpenStack will be deployed. And the management cluster is chosen. And, uh, open and the two management network uh, setting, like uh, management network services and the uh, OpenStack API network, it's already included. And the load balancer configuration, and the Nova cluster, and the where to put Nova cluster, so that's computer cluster, instance cluster, instance will be on the computer cluster, and the Nova data stores. So pretty easy. So Nova configuration, uh, grant, where to store grants, and the neutron networking. Uh, we are using na here NSX. But the NSX is not a mandatory requirement. You can use a, a general uh, VDS, Visual Video Switch. You can, uh, NSX has more features, but you can choose. NS networking and uh, authentication source. So all of configuration uh, features re required to in deploy OpenStack is, uh, uh, can be put here. And the syslog. And now ready to complete that. Like uh, so, confirmation. And uh, these VMs will be deployed after you uh, complete the wizard. So uh, as I explained, uh, two load balancers, two controllers, which include uh, OpenStack services, and uh, three data media database, and RabbitMQ, object storage, and memcache. So these VMs are already packaged, and uh, with this wizard, it will be automatically deployed. Okay. And uh, after putting complete, so now VIO is uh, being deployed. Uh, it's, automat it's automatic. You don't have to do anything during that. But it takes time, uh, usually 20 minutes to 30 minutes. Uh, it depends on your infrastructure, but uh, it's pretty simple. And uh, I'd like to show uh, what, how do, okay. I'd like to show you uh, what will you will see after the deployment. And uh, this is a uh, uh, environment uh, I already deployed VIO. Okay, and uh, yeah, these VMs are already deployed. And after that, uh, application developers or users can launch instances with Horizon or CD, CLI or API. So it's now ready to use. So very simple deployment. It's uh, already uh, packaged. It's very simple. Okay. So that. Okay. And uh, now let me okay. move on to the management piece. OpenStack provides a IELTS foundation for you, but for day two operations, you have to build other monitoring or troubleshooting system. And we can complement uh, OpenStack's so data operations with our cloud management platform, we realize. And we realize, I'd like to introduce three components today. 
One is a uh, uh, VDLI's operations, which supports performance and capacity management of virtualized infrastructure and OpenStack, and also log insight. So log management is very uh, difficult or very complex in OpenStack. So we believe this is uh, uh, this can be deliver this can deliver good value to customers and the business management. And uh, let me show you one by one. The first one is a uh, VRealize operations. That's a uh, uh, top page of VRealize operations. I like this uh, 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 this interface and uh, like uh, health. This shows the uh, performance of failure. Uh, issues, so what's happening in the infrastructure. You can easily get uh, uh, by what's happening in your infrastructure by seeing this health infrastructure and the tiny, uh, sorry about that, tiny, tiny square shows a VM or host. And uh, by uh, seeing this, you can easily find uh, if a performance issue or failure it happens in your infrastructure. And the risk. It shows a list resource or capacity uh, and also security issues and efficiency. If it shows uh, how, how much resource you can uh, get back from uh, existing VM or host. And uh, by seeing this, you can easily get uh, what's happening in your infrastructure. And uh, a lot, a lot, a lot is also uh, better than uh, uh, the standard system. So here, uh, so this alert shows uh, 89 VMs have a, a IO, uh, so CPU high utilization by IO weight. So without VDLs operations, you will see 89, uh, in 80, 89 uh, separate individual alerts over C high CPU utilization. So you need to, you need to collect and analyze a low level alert uh, with, uh, if you don't have VDLs operations, but with, with VDLs operations, it's already aggregated and analyzed, and uh, as a meaningful information, uh, it will be delivered to management uh, administrators. And also, uh, this is a VMA tools version. So rather than uh, rather than delivering uh, 64 separate alerts, it's uh, aggregated, aggregated, and uh, as a meaningful information, it's delivered. And also security, we have security best practices. And with security best practice, you can find uh, any violation uh, is there in the infrastructure system. And the VDLs operations has an uh, OpenStack management uh, plugin. And with an OpenStack management plugin, you can uh, have the same uh, value and the features for OpenStack as well as uh, virtualized uh, infrastructure. I will show you uh, uh, th by uh, the I can say a demonstration later quickly. And uh, the second part is log inside. This is uh, probably similar to uh, Splunk or other log, inside, uh, log management system. And uh, you can put any logs into here, uh, or syslog interface or agent. And this is a pretty uh, extensible system. We, ha we support not only but, uh, VML technologies, but also operating system or network appliance. And uh, or on, on definite, and of course, uh, OpenStack. We have plugins, many plugins, and you can you, with the plugins, you can have uh, out of the box uh, dashboards, and also a lot is automatically analyzed. And uh, this is a uh, so uh, screenshot of Log Insight, and uh, I will show you uh, what we can do with Log Insight uh, for OpenStack. And the third one is VDLS business. And uh, to run private cloud, IT needs to uh, calculate a cost and cost over the own private cloud. But for pricing, they need to understand that their cost. And uh, usually, they are using Excel or spreadsheet to calculate a cost. But uh, with business, with business, you can easily and simply can calculate the cost. That's a uh, very uh, important uh, point for the private cloud. OK, and uh, let me show you the demonstration and the VDLS operations and the logo inside. OK, just a moment, please. And, uh, OK, this is uh, uh, VDLS operations, uh, VDLS operations with uh, OpenStack plugin. And this, is, uh, this shows OpenStack tenant, like a VM or uh, logical switches. 
And as I show, uh, health, risk, efficiency, these scores are automatically calculated for OpenStack components as well. So you can easily find uh, tenants, uh, tenants instances, uh, in instances uh, health or other information. And uh, for storage, you can see the same information, like in the data store, uh, how much capacity is utilized, and uh, what, what about health, you can easily get the information. And the uh, network, the same. Uh, the entire network infrastructure and the NSX has controllers uh, based on three nodes, and you can easily uh, get uh, information about the health. And, and topology, so bar's eye view, uh, you can use uh, as well. And uh, compute infrastructure, this shows uh, in compute, compute clusters where uh, customers uh, use as instance of learning. And uh, probably that's important point, more important point, like a compute services, Nova or Neutron or Cinder. Uh, we already created a dashboard for OpenStack, and uh, with this, you can easily get the uh, health information about uh, OpenStack components. And the uh, log insight, maybe it's, so, sorry about that, this is a very tiny, but uh, let me explain what's, what is shown. And uh, okay, this uh, shows the uh, so en entire dashboard of OpenStack logs, and uh, here is a cinder, glance, and the uh, heat, keystone, neutron, nova, and uh, this uh, Y axis is a uh, severity like uh, debug or error or warning, and uh, it's automatically uh, classified and organized. So pretty good view. And uh, this is an overview, and uh, you can see also the same information and dashboard API requests, like uh, here. Also, how, how many API requests are coming, and uh, API requests about this, and the API response time as well. And the Nova's API response time and the Cinder's response time, and it's uh, already uh, classified and organized well in the log insight. And the uh, component, uh, so Keystone, or Nova, or Cinder, you can uh, get information uh, for the individual uh, component service. Okay. And here, Elo, this is uh, so time wise. So uh, blue is Nova, and the uh, light blue is Glance, and the purple is Keystone. So how many so errors happened uh, in the in the last uh, 24 hours? You can easily see the information. And uh, let's drill down. Okay, oh, drill down. Sorry about that. Maybe okay. Okay, let's drill down the Cinder errors. Here, you can put to in interactive analytics. And here, so Cinderella is, all, Cinderella is shown, and the log is shown. And uh, we have a schema for the OpenStack and the other uh, technologies, like uh, event type or uh, BMA clusters. So logs are analyzed automatically with a schema we have. And uh, you, can, you can easily understand what the log means. And also, uh, we have a customizable search uh, features and uh, you can easily, so like at uh, this time, or the, this metadata is uh, XXX, like that. So you can uh, flexibly uh, find a log uh, which is relevant to you. Okay. And uh, let me summarize uh, this presentation. Okay, and uh, in this presentation, uh, I explained uh, why OpenStack on VMA is important to you. So we are, we, we, are de we deliver a vSphere NSX or vSphere storage, which is widely used and very trusted infrastructure. You can leverage the existing vSphere infrastructure for OpenStack Cloud. The second point is uh, VIO is very easy to use. So it's uh, packaged as a virtual appliance. So deployment and installation and the operation upgrade is very easy. So we, we, call, we say uh, no OpenStack PhD is required. <laughs> uh, but uh, definitely, yeah, so uh, technical skill level uh, has, has to be lower than other OpenStack solutions. Okay. 
the third point. Sorry about that. Third point is simplified OpenStack operations. We integrated OpenStack with our cloud management platform. So you can see uh, performance information or logo information uh, from a single pane, of, single pane of glass. It's pretty simple. And the last one is single vendor support. We support not only VMware technologies, but also OpenStack, uh, OpenStack components. So customer can get a single support uh, for the entire OpenStack cloud system. Uh, that's all uh, for my presentation. And uh, so time is running. So if you have questions, I, I will stay here. So let me know after the presentation. Stop by uh, me. Thank you very much.